In this video, we're going to go over a few strollers that we feel stand out on the current market, as providing the best value for your buck when paired correctly with a specific set of needs. This is not to say that there aren't a lot of other great strollers out there, but, as of late, I find myself recommending these in particular in response to distinct, though widely relatable life situations. So let's jump straight into it then, where our first model today is the tried and true Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2, which, though brought down a few pegs by the launch of a plethora of other great ultra compacts lately, is still the best option on the market in my opinion for backpacker style travel due to the great combination of being built strong and simple, having decently sized wheels for an ultra compact, fitting the cabin luggage requirements of the vast majority of airlines, and having a slim folded profile and a long padded shoulder strap, which together make it the most comfortable stroller available in my opinion to carry slung from your shoulder. In addition, while I wouldn't recommend the Yo-Yo to most people as their main stroller to use with a newborn, the fact that you can get either the Zero Plus Pack, which preserves the model's easy fold and carry, or the Bassinet, which provides a somewhat more protected environment, does make the model in many cases the best option out there if you plan to travel during the newborn phase. Next up is the Boogaboo Butterfly, which is, in my opinion, the best all-round ultra compact, for most situations where you don't need the better carryability and newborn options of the yo-yo. And this is because, despite the one negative of not really driving that well outside of smooth environments, the butterfly simply provides a combination of highly desirable characteristics on a single model that you don't find other places. Being sturdy enough to hold up to all day, everyday use as your primary stroller, folding down to within cabin luggage dimensions as set by the IATA, having a larger, more accessible, and more weight capable shopping basket than most other comparably sized models, and lastly, and most importantly, having huge seat dimensions that include both a much longer than average seat back and leg rest, which give the model a serious edge over most of the competition in terms of the length of time that the reclined position will be optimally comfortable for children. All of which then make it quite often my go-to ultra compact anytime parents don't need a specific, unique characteristic provided by another model. All right then. Third up is the Upper Baby Minu V2, which, thanks to filling a sort of gray zone between ultra compacts and small size daily strollers, is the best overall model in my opinion for people who really want to use an ultra compact as their primary stroller in a wider set of conditions than you can do with the butterfly, meaning rougher streets, lawn, dirt roads, and so on, which the Minu can handle due to its larger build, better suspension, and bigger wheels. And this added terrain capability, combined with being even sturdier than the butterfly and having an even better shopping basket, while still being quite close to ultra compact size, makes it a good choice if you live in tighter urban conditions that might have a lot of non-standard doorways, for example, or plan to visit somewhat rougher holiday destinations such as older European cities. As it comes stock, it's not an acceptable model to use for newborns, but the fact that it can be paired with the full-sized Upper Baby Bassinet, which is approved for overnight sleeping, also makes it a good, if a bit larger, alternative to the yo-yo for vacationing with a newborn. And lastly, it can also be a good choice for car-oriented suburban lifestyles where you're looking for a model that has a somewhat sturdier feel for when you need to be out for longer, but are also looking for something that won't take up too much trunk space. Next up is the Nunatriv Next, which fulfills some of the same roles as the Minu V2 while being a bit bigger and having increased terrain capability due to its larger wheels. Combine these factors with a reversible seat and a super comfortable folding process, and the Triv Next then is my best overall pick for parents looking for a smaller, full-size stroller to complement a car-centric suburban lifestyle. The fact that the model folds down to an acceptable size and weight for gate checking is also a plus, giving the model even more ability to deal with holiday destinations that might include rougher cobblestones or some degree of off-roading than the Minu V2. And the only major drawback of the model in my opinion is its somewhat slighter build means that it shouldn't really be used all day every day without a car, as this may cause it to wear down and get loose a bit too quickly. But if you're looking at mostly shorter trips and all day stroller use more as a weekend type of thing, then it will hold up just fine. And with that added versatility of passing gate checking requirements, which most strollers of this size and type can't do, despite being a newcomer, the Triv Next is already a definite winner in my opinion for best overall strollers on the current market. 
Moving on, we get to the Upper Baby Cruise V2. That is for most parents, in my opinion, the best overall option for negotiating urban life without a car, due to its sturdy build, super oversized and accessible shopping basket, awesome for shopping groceries at the corner store, somewhat larger than average reversible seat, and amazing suspension, making the model functional over most cobblestones and also lighter off-road conditions like city parks, country fairs, or gravel and stuff. Pair this with the fact that the Cruise V2 folds a little smaller than a lot of other full-size reversible seat models, that you're not getting charged for a bassinet, which you don't need if your child is older than six months, or if you're looking to use a car seat or the infant snug seat instead, and the excellent after-sales repairability afforded by Upa Baby's repair hubs and dedication to providing spare parts even after a model's gone off the market, and the Cruise V2 becomes, overall, one of the most appealing full-sized reversible seat models currently available. All right, next up is a model that's similar to the Cruise V2 in being primarily for urban use, but whose design emphasizes somewhat different characteristics, having an even bigger seat and better terrain capability while also being significantly cheaper and having a more compact or at least flatter fold. And that's the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2, which is the best overall three-wheeler for hybrid, city, and off-road use. And what makes it this, in my opinion, is that the model will give you a bit of that high durability, sports-oriented feel while also having a super easy fold and having more manageably sized wheels that, unlike a lot of three-wheelers, you won't have to remove any time you want to fit the model in a trunk. The GT2 isn't going to win any awards for most accessible shopping basket, and the other jogging three-wheelers laugh at it out in the forest. But if you're looking for an affordable, no-nonsense model with great seat size, durability that blows away most reversible seat strollers, and terrain capability that'll have you powering through that stone-filled empty city lot like it's nobody's business, then the GT2 can make a great choice. Okay, finishing up, I'd like to go over a couple of two-child models that I also feel really distinguish themselves as the best overall options for particular lifestyle and environment needs. First of which is the Mountain Buggy Duet, which is the best overall two-child model for situations where you need a certain modicum of terrain capability and want the equal access to both children that a side-by-side -side stroller brings, but also absolutely need a model that's as narrow as possible. The Duet is only 63 centimeters wide, which is skinnier than the Vista, for example, and yet still has acceptably sized seats, an effect that's been achieved by recessing the rear wheels into the rear frame. And it's also built on Mountain Buggy's super durable, off-road oriented chassis design. Is it going to bring you all the frills that you would get from a premium reversible seat manufacturer like Boogaboo, Up a Baby, or Nuna? No. But, as I've learned from brainstorming with patrons, if you live in one of countless European countries with old-fashioned elevators and non-standard doorways, or conversely, in tight Asian metropoli like Hong Kong or Singapore, for example, where the width of your stroller may determine whether you can use public transport at all, then the duet is really one of a kind. And last up then, our second side-by-side -side model, is the Boogaboo Donkey 5 the current iteration of what has long been the most luxurious and best overall reversible seat two-child option out there that provides both a wide variety of easily swappable and combinable seating options, bassinets, car seats, or seats, and awesome terrain capability to boot in case you want to do some off-roading. Despite being large when folded out, it can also be at least packed down smaller than a lot of comparable strollers, though the process is admittedly a bit time-consuming if you want to get it as small as possible. And my general view of the donkey, then, is that it fits best for lifestyles that involve long hours outside without a car, though the truth is that any time a newborn might be part of the equation, and as long as we're not talking about jogging or tight situations where something like the duet would be better, I'd frankly rather have the donkey than most other two-child strollers out there. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, as this sort of support helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about any of these models, we have standalone reviews for most of them that go into a lot more detail, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle-related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.